Hello everybody and welcome back to York River Cannabis. In today's video, I'm gonna give you an update on what I have found out about the USDA new hemp regulations. But first, before we get into it, if you wouldn't mind, please hit that subscribe button. I really would appreciate it. If you wouldn't mind, give the video a thumbs up. And if you've already subscribed, thank you very much. I really do appreciate it and it helps our channel out quite a bit. So let's talk about what I've heard from the USDA. I actually did receive an email today, lo and behold, the public comment period has started today. And they responded to me in a very polite email and encouraged uh, to advocate and go onto the website. That website will be in the link below. Also, they gave me a bunch of other information. They gave me a mailing address and a fax machine number. So if you like the old fax machine, go right for it. Any way you can, you need to advocate. Now, let's talk about what I will be advocating for. And I'm not telling you what to advocate for. That's not right. You gotta advocate what's best for you. If you wanna advocate for $200 permits versus $1,000 permits, which is in that bill somewhere, knock yourself out. But really, in reality, guys, what really affects the farmers all across the board is the Delta 9 THC decarboxylated to the total THC of underneath 0.3% and anything above the 0.5%, you are no longer protected by a neg as a negligent farmer and you are now in possession of marijuana, a schedule one drug, which means prison time for those of you in the South. If you're in a legal state, I don't know exactly how they're gonna navigate that one. Now, what if your lab sucks, right? But we got the state forensic lab in Virginia saying they can't do it. They cannot do it. But yet some other lab with some hocus pocus magic can come up with it? That's ridiculous. That's absolutely ridiculous. There is absolutely no way they are splitting hairs. And I'll tell you why. You know why they're doing this? I, I, besides the whole fiber hemp thing, <laughs> and I'm going to go a little hippie on you guys, I really think somebody got bought and paid for by a large company like Monsanto. And here's why I think that. I think it is achievable to get the 0.3 total THC, but it's not natural. They can make a plant resistant to Roundup, and you can see right over there, guys, okay, right across the field there, they grow corn for the last, I don't know how many years, and they spray Roundup on it every year, every year, okay? Those companies come out with that corn so you can just harvest corn, drought resistant or drought tolerant, uh, flood resistant, flood tolerant, all this crap that corn never should have been to begin with. And you've got it out there. So what do you think they're going to do with the hemp? You don't think they already started thinking about that? They passed that patent bill months ago. This was already pre-planned. These big corporations are going to get in on this hemp. They're going to push you out and they're going to sell you... If you want to grow it for them, they'll be happy about that, but they're going to sell you a ridiculously priced hemp plant that will make it under the 0.3 total THC decarboxylated. Okay, this is not a joke. This is not a joke. And for those of you that are in the legal states, I want you to think about us in the un-not legal states, okay? The states that, uh, you know, throw you in prison for an ounce of friggin' weed for years. Like, not like Vermont. We love our guys up in Vermont. We have a farm up there in Vermont. We can grow it. You can have an unlimited amount on your property. They don't give a shit. They don't give a shit. But I'll tell you right now, here in Virginia, you're going to jail, baby. You're going to jail for a long time. And they ain't looking back. They ain't looking back. So this is a different world down here. But even the legal states are going to be affected by this. Of course, they do have a public comment period, guys. I don't want you to think, Henny Penny, the sky is falling. But if you don't do anything or you sit there and you go, well, I guess it's over now. Or I live in a legal state. Who cares? Wrong. Guys, you got to you gotta voice your opinion. I mean, I see a lot of people are like, oh, I'd love 2 or 3%. That's ridiculous. You're not going to get 2 or 3%. I mean, I grew 21.1% CBD, and the total THC came in at 0.7. It's, it's, it's not really uh, legitimate to ask for anything really above 1% before you start really getting into some murky water. So what I really want people to do is think about how this is going to affect your farm. If you invested a lot of money this year into growing hemp, and all of a sudden you now have a hot hemp product, you just lost everything. 
So you have to make sure that you're looking out for yourself. And they're giving us the opportunity to do that, guys. They are giving us the opportunity to tell them how we feel. So you need to tell them how you feel. Get in there, comment, tell them you want 1% total THC. I think that's a reasonable middle ground. I think splitting hairs with this 0.3 crap is total bullshit. And they need to hear it. They need to hear from you. And they need to know that we're not going to tolerate this shit. We're not going to be pushed out of a market you literally just opened up less than a year ago. So leave your comments below. Get on that website and tell them how you feel. So that's all I have for you guys. Uh, if you wouldn't mind, please hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. And I will see you in another video. I plan on making a few more videos about this USDA hemp thing. And we are working on having uh, a live stream this weekend with a cannabis lawyer, which I think will be great for some people to have their questions answered. So leave a comment below in this video and let me know what you would like me to ask if, I, if that comes around. And I will gladly do it for you. So... Until next time, thanks for watching.